Welcome everyone, I'm Rothenberger, and this is The Curious Expedition. I'm not gonna tell you anything about this game, we're just gonna jump right in, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna play it. It's it's an amazing game. If you don't know what the game is, why is my cursor wrong? Uh, custom cursor? Yeah, okay, good. Now now I've got the little hand pointer finger. That's fine, that's perfect. So I've unlocked four, out of, four of these characters so far. You start with these three. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. We've got Marie Curie. Uh, we've got Richard Francis Burton. We've got Darwin. I've already beaten the game with Mary Kingsley, so we're not going to use her. Uh, Amelia Earhart, Nikola Tesla, and Marcus Garvey. As you can tell, they're all famous people. And you know what? You can have one additional Trek member, but has lower max sanity. That could be both good and bad. Uh, look at all this stuff he gets. He gets a couple shovels, some bullets, some, uh, mach some machetes, some rope, and some whiskey. Uh, Tesla gets some explosives and a Tesla gun. Okay, some shovels, some fireworks. Uh, he gets a Parsi trader, a cook, and a donkey. They all get donkeys. You know what? We'll go with Mary Curie. We're going to go out there and we're going to understand radioactivity. She gets some good stuff. She gets a dog, too, and a nun. So we're going to have our dog, our nun, our donkey, and our chocolate, bar our chocolate rations. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor our most famous member? I did not hear that, Mr. Fancy Man. Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Now go, explore, adventure awaits. And we're going to have a curious expedition. It's not going to be a regular expedition. This is going to be curious. We're probably going to befriend a Velociraptor Raptor because that's what you do on a curious expedition. So, I could go on a tourist trip, I could go on a regular expedition, or I could go on certain death. You know what? Let's go certain death. Uh, no. I'm, I'm scared, actually. We're gonna go expedition. So we get to go to the sad jungle first. That is our only location that's given to us. He gets to go to the Tesla, the, or Tesla gets to go to the mysterious jungle. That sounds much more expedi- much more curious. David Neal gets to go to the Sorrowful Jungle. That's basically the Sad Jungle. That's a slightly more, a slightly sadder version of the Sad Jungle. That's that's a depressing jungle. Yalum Pani Jungle. I don't know what that means. Bird is explore. Okay, and Burton's exploring the Dead End Jungle. So it sounds like Tesla got the better jungle here. That one's full of mystery and mysticism and magic and. Funky dancing happy people? Uh, probably because they're mysterious. You know, those those happy dancing people, they're very mysterious. Why are they dancing? Who are they? And what makes them happy? All questions that will probably never be answered. The sad jungle is just full of depression. So, let's go to the sad jungle. A gold pyramid can be found here. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I made my way to the docks. The captain had yet to arrive, so I took some pleasure in envis envisaging my name in the newspapers. Someone approached me with a request. He desired a message to be delivered to the chief of a village that we sh should surely stumble upon during our trek. You know what? We're going to do that. Thank you. I have a letter. He handed us a sealed envelope, which I promised to deliver. Just in time, our vessel was prepared to set sail. Okay. Expedition 1. It's generating stuff. Good. Oh, look at that little boat. Look at it go. Oh, are we going to land right there? Are we going to land in that little cove? Oh, that's a perfect place to land. Okay, so we have 110 sanity. After too many salty days at sea, we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. I would much... What, what did you say? I did... Okay, so I can... Uh, I don't need to access ship storage or refill my water. So we're just going to begin our expedition. Perhaps we should endeavor to deliver the letter first. Luckily, the man had indica indicated the location of the village on our map. Okay, well, that's not far away. We can go ahead and do that right now. Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to explore this area. Our main goal is to find a golden pyramid. But along the way, we want to get a lot of treasure. We want to get so much treasure that we become filthy rich and get world famous. We encountered a nat native village. Or we entered a native village. We encountered a tribe that were apparently the best scouts known to this region. The villagers observed us with, observed, uh, I can read, 
observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We were able to walk amongst their number freely as though there was nothing unusual about our arrival. You know, they see our kind all the time, you know. Weird foreign people. Yeah, we're always just tromping through their village. A peculiar stone idol was positioned front and center of the village. Uh, they, they, they were kind and offered us what they could. Okay. Deliver the letter. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's see about recruiting somebody. Oh, I could get... Oh, uh, they're all animal handlers. That could be handy, though. Who do we want? Uh, not you, because you've got superstition. We're gonna go with... Poedemy. Or... Karu... Karu... Karuge. We'll go with Karuge. Yeah, we'll go with Karuge. He seems like a good fit. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's trade. What do you have? You've got some jewels. You've got a horn flute. Some horn flutes. Uh, you. I mean, I really don't have anything to trade. I could trade some bullets. But, you know, we might need those. I don't have anything to use them in. That's fine. Uh, we... Here, in, in Curious Expedition, you don't actually use bullets with a gun. You throw them. It's it's weird. Don't worry about it. You, you just have to have a really good throwing arm. Okay. Uh, let's let's leave. So, now, as you might notice... Oh. Oh. What does she have? Claustrophobic. How are you... Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So, we've got a shrine over here. Uh, our sanity, as you might have noticed, it goes down as we move. So, this will take 22 sanity to get here. But we want to get up here. So, we're going to climb up this little hill. Come on, through the jungle. Oh, look at that. We can see everything now. Okay, so there's something over here. There's another hill over here we might go climb up. Uh, we need to get over here, though. There's another... Uh, let's take a look over here. So there's something else in this mountain here. But this seems like our best bet. So what we want to do is we want to come over here. And then we might end up having to eat some food. So we might have to eat some of our rations. Because we're going through a lot of sanity here. Oh, what's this? I surveyed the curious man-made stone sculpture. The ghastly vis visage seemed to focus on us. Its presence made me uncomfortable and I desired to move on. This seems to be a sacred place. Uh, okay. I saw a few items by the statue, which must have been put there by the natives of this region. Presumably in a, in a... Presumably in an attempt to appease the god. Let's examine the loot. Ooh, horn flutes and a mushroom. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh... I'll... I'll yeah, we'll, we'll take their sacrificial offering because, you know what? Screw it. I'll do what I want. Goddamn Europeans. You know what? Uh, can I... I can't, I can't use that. That's fine. Okay, so I can restore some sanity with this. Ten sanity with those. That's, that's good. Let's, oh wow, that's going to take 56 sanity. So we're going to travel over here. This first expedition, it's going to be rough, man. It's going to be rough. We're probably going to get our butt handed to us. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and chow down on this chocolate. Uh, I mean, I don't really have any other options. Oh, a cave. A, a clave. Yes, we're going to explore the cave. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small passage in one of the walls. That seemed to lead us... Lead into another part of the cave. Okay, we're going to descend into Karuge. Because... Adelaide is claustrophobic. And that would just be cruel to Adelaide. Oh, good. I got it. Excellent. We sent Karuge to investigate the opening. After a time, Karuge crawled back out of the darkness. He regaled us with the majesty of the sacred altar inside, where he found a mystical artifact. Ooh. Tome page of effortless movement. And tome page of world creation. Excellent. Okay. Uh, what does this do? You know what? We're gonna try it. I don't... I'm not sure what that did. Effortless movement? Yeah, let's use it. Oh, wow! Oh, I changed the entire world. Oh, butterflies. Okay, so there's butterflies here. We'll go ahead and capture these. And we just made a lot of progress with that movement. Okay, what do we have here? 
We've got two different things. A uh, stone overhang and an old camp. Let's explore the old... Oh, uh, this is a stone overhang. Okay, we want to explore the old camp. Let's search the area. Loot. Oh, good. Some more chocolate. Excellent. Okay. And now we want to explore the stone overhang. We're going to rest here. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here to recuperate. It was a rather cold night as we sat and stared into the fire. I contemplated why I had come here. Was this really worth the effort? All these struggles? What kind of person did it take to revel in this life of danger, pain, and uncertainty? Only for the minuscule hope of achieving eternal life through history. Would anybody really remember me once I had left this world? That's... That's some deep shit, man. You're getting... Just too deep for me. So our Sandy is restoring now over the course of several days. Excellent. Most excellent. Okay, our we prepared for our departure. The imposing rock over Hingham did a great shield against the elements. Alright. We can slash our way through this jungle here. Let's see. Is there anything... So it looks like... We're really making a dent in this place. Let's hack our way through this jungle. Oh, there's mosquitoes. Watch out for those. Mosquitoes are not good, man. We arrived at a long-forgotten shrine. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. A circle of dried-up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared enter. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water beneath our feet. Oh, that's not good. So this is uh, going to be trapped. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. <gasps> Loot! Oh, a golden slakra. A peculiar golden statuette. Statuette. The letters slakra are carved on the bottom. A possible indication for some kind of native religious figure. A small statue of a native head made of pure gold. We're taking it. Uh, what can I... What can I ditch? Let's ditch the torches. And... I would not leave empty handed. The treasure was ours for the taking. We grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water burst through the ground and began to flood the surrounding area. We had to run like our lives depended on it, depended upon it, or drown in the grand lake forming around us. Okay, uh, we gotta go. So, move it. Oh no. Oh, there's the golden. Oh, there's the golden pyramid. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? I think that's it. That seems to be it. So we're going to halt butt towards the Golden Pyramid. And explore. The goal was presented to us in the form of a pyramid made of gold. A sweet smell of achievement. Enter the pyramid. After such an endeavor, tremendous relief overcame me. I knew that this name, Murray Curie, would be written about long after I departed this life. I congratulated Karuj, but instead of joy, I saw regret. He would not follow me to the civilized world. We're going to convince him. We're Yeah, we convinced him. Yes. All of my stories about the advances of the civilized world ha had an effect on Karuj, and he agreed to come back with me. Yes, Karuj is going to be part of our party. No regrets. Okay. Oh, more first, too. So we got all the bonuses. Excellent. Let's finish that expedition. Let's get our reward and claim our prize. Okay, so let's see choose a first. I increase maximum sanity. Survive a little longer while alone. Field location also turns in circles and increases the radius with analyzing them. Oh wow, I am in second without having to turn in any of my things yet. Okay, so this, I could get 10 fame or 5 funds. We'll gift it. This, it's 70 fame or 40 funds. Yeah, we'll gift it. And this, it's 50 fame or 40 funds. We'll sell that, sell that sucker. Ex absolutely. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop. So thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.